So I think the the number of articles that you read per week depends on uh, also if you're writing, if you are um, doing experiments or not, and how much time available do you have. Because um, when I'm writing, I I don't know. I can say I can read 100 per week, or or in average, can be more, can be less. But um, it really depends on, on what what you're really doing. So how many articles I read per week? I don't know, maybe four or five, depending on the week and how busy I am with other things. Uh, how I remember? Um, yeah, I, j I just remember. Sometimes I don't even know, uh, I don't remember exactly where they are. Uh, uh, yeah, all the details, but at least I remember where I, uh, where I read things, so I can always look up the details. Yeah, uh, I usually uh, save an electronic version. What I do is to organize in folders uh, the papers that goes together. When I have ideas or hypotheses, I put them together in the same folder, so I can say, well, I can I know that I keep tracks also, and I keep uh, most of the time uh, tracks of the names. Of the of the researchers, mm. okay. it's more by the names than by the or by keywords in my, as well. In my case, it's a bit difficult to to have track of all what is known. I mean, I have an idea that yeah, I think I read this somewhere, you know. But then, like, there are some people that it's uh, oh yeah, this author, this group from that university just published it, and oof, <laughs> that's a bit complicated. But um, for the people like us. Uh, you can just always use Mendeley, you know. So if you find like, uh, always when you read an article, try to think in advance if you can use it in the future or not. So uh, you have Mendeley or EndNote, which are like these um, programs for reference management. And you can just, I don't know, make folders for important things. And then you just, if, even if you don't remember what you're doing, you just know where to find it. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Um, so what I did straight from the beginning, like there are several citation tools you can use. Doesn't really matter which one you have. I use Manderley. And uh, that is integrated with Word, but also integrated with Chrome. So uh, I look up studies. I have a hotkey, it saves it to my app. Uh, it's an online app from Manderley. And then they have a database. Um, for each study, I have a separate, uh, how do you call it, archive. Okay. And every time I add something, I put it under that archive. archive. And that's how I keep oversight of everything that's happening. And I just keep adding to it. You can give notes as well, which is really nice. So sometimes I save something and I put in note, um, you know, like page six or something. And then I know like when I go through it, when I'm writing my thesis or when I'm writing my study, then I know, all right, something, there was something in page six or I saved this one because it says something about my type of patients. Or so when I see an interesting paper, I just download, down, add, I always add this paper to my Mendeley and that's how I work. Uh, tip two is, I would just search, um, if your field is very big, so it's very specific because there's way too much. So you have a very specific question, just Google Scholar, just your research question, and the most important articles will pop up. From there onwards, you will be able to uh, see to what articles they refer to and uh, move onwards. And also ask your supervisor, uh, he or she, well, most likely knows what the most important articles are that are out there. So you will be able to get them um, in a few minutes if you simply ask your supervisors. Uh, yeah, and I normally have also those subscriptions on, on PubMed that they send you weekly. Uh, you can define per subject. For example, uh, you put the, the, the topics out, depression, stress, and inflammation and then they will send you everything related to that weekly so then you can can choose from those which ones you want to read so this is more or less how i i, I kept on a, a a selection of articles on a weekly basis uh, in pubmed I, I have some 
um, I get email notifications for certain search terms. So that helps and I don't have to spend a lot of time looking for it, but I just get an email with, hey, there's a new publication in this field, so then I uh, can read it. I also started reading papers of those whom I saw on congresses and conferences, because then you know who uh, whose research, research is about, and uh, you may uh, just draw into that. Mm -hmm.